is Allopage with you today. Hi everyone, good morning. So welcome to Life Family and Health with you, Jays. So today we'll be talking about personal hygiene. My name is UJ's Kano. So, um, like I said, we'll be talking about personal hygiene in relationship or in marriage. I received a, an email from Chidema. Remember, in this program, we don't call the last name. And I believe Chidema, at the end of this um, talk show, you should um, know the right thing to do, okay? Um, please, if you don't mind, as you are joining in, please do share this video, please. Just show love. By sharing my video god bless you all so uh we'll be talking about personal hygiene in marriage so um the email i received from children uh, um said my husband when we want to make love my husband always asks me to take my sh take a shower but my husband doesn't take a shower he kept on telling me that he has washed but he will never have a full bath so personal hygiene is not just one person, it is both parties. Both of you have to take a shower. Because if from what she said from her email, um, as he was giving the husband head, um, she, did, she found out that she, <laughs> while doing that, she, she, she saw a toilet paper inside her mouth. So she spat it out and she was so angry because of that. So, this is the things um, I want to, today I want to explain some stuff. First, when you are trying to have sex, I always, um, I always prefer couples should take their shower. That's first thing. Because um, you can't tell me that it's just only to bang, no other thing will come in. The other things that will come in depends on how you spice your relationship, right? So I expect you guys to take your shower. That is very, very important. Personal hygiene is not just about having sex, taking your shower. Some guys doesn't shave. The same thing goes to a lady. I'm just saying both, both sides. I'm not just pointing out on one person. So some people don't shave. Some people don't um, use their um, body roll on. They don't even use their body spray. You understand? And these things, we sweat all the time. When we go out, we are sweating. When we go out, we are sweating. Every day, whatever we do, we sweat. So I expect you, when you come back, you take your shower. The same thing goes with the man. Personal hygiene comes also in our underwear. There are some people that have their panties. Six months to one year, you are still wearing the same pants. Every three months, change your underwear. Change them. Change your bra. I understand sometimes we love some bras that we can never throw them away. We can't. That we love it so much. Maybe that there is a cloth that when you wear it, it will look different. But I expect you to throw them away. Change it. Just keep changing. Because good things doesn't finish in the market. Every day you are seeing these different things in the market. You will see a guy, the guy will wear a, one boxers, one of his underwear for a boxer for three days. The thing will be smelling, booming. Then when you see a, a lady, the pant has torn from here. Even a Belgian rat can, can, can pass through it. You will keep it. You will still wear it. All you have to tell me is that uh, we see my inside. Only my husband is seeing it on my boyfriend. Who cares? I bet let me manage it and go, Joe. Somebody cares. Anything can happen tomorrow. You might fall from a bike and your, your pants um, get torn. Everybody has seen the underwear you're wearing inside. You cannot, you cannot predict tomorrow. So we have to be careful what we put, in, put on inside. Brushing of teeth is personal hygiene. You have to learn how to brush your teeth. Brush in the morning, brush in the night. Even if you can brush in the afternoon, it's also good. Some people don't brush. When you sit close to them, they are smelling. In fact, their mouth is smelling. When they say hello, in fact, you put your hand like this. 
Some people don't brush. Or girl, if you because some guys when they, they pee, they put their penis inside the toilet. Why they are when, why they are peeing and they are, they, are, they are pooing at the same time. So you cannot tell me if you come out, you wash just the pen, the cucumber. Let me just use that because there are some words you don't use on Facebook. You wash the cucumber, but you don't wash the back where you put. And it's the same boss, a woman will come and lick and lick the back. So, <laughs> God. So, how do you want to say you are, how do you want to describe that you are clean? I don't see that as someone that is clean. I see that as dirty. You have to take your shower. Some guys don't, some guys don't clean their ears. The same thing goes to a lady. And you want, when you guys are making out, you want a, a guy to suck your ear or a lady to suck your ear. You can't swallow all those things. You have to, you have to be clean. You have to clean your ears. You have to shave. The same thing goes down there. If you want head, you have to shave properly. You don't expect the man to go there or the woman to go there and come out with toothpick and start cleaning out the hairs which you left inside the teeth. Nobody wants to suffer like that. So it's not a taboo when your wife tells you, my darling husband or my darling wife, please, can you shave or can you wash? Or can you take a proper shower? I don't see it as anything. So you shouting at the lady that you are the man of the house and you can't tell me what to do. This is a no-no for me. This, that's where I said communication comes in. If you know the right thing, do it. It's not a one-way one thing whereby it's only a woman should take a shower that we always have discharge and all that. No, a guy also has to take a shower. A guy will put on their panties and a guy sweat inside the way a woman sweat in. So it's not just one person, it is both sides. It is both sides. Both of you can even go into the bathtub, have your shower together, come out before you start making out. Get a good body spray if you know you have this um, body odor. You can get a body spray. You can also use um, lemon with um, water. I, I always suggest lemon ACV with water and then you put, um, use a cutting board and then use it to wipe your armpit, wipe both sides, wipe both down. It helps a lot to reduce body odor. It helps so well. Then you put on your, your roll on, your body spray, whatever your deodorant, whatever you are using, you can then put that on. Always repeat that thing morning and night, morning and night. It helps. And also watch our kids these days. Some people have body odor. The earlier you stop it, the better. Because while they are growing up, it is going to be very, very bad. And they won't like it when somebody says and tells them, tell them, um, um, oh boy, guy, you, you smell so bad. You understand? Girls will run away from them. So it's something you have to start early. And repeating of clothes, I don't suggest that. It's not good. You will see a guy, he will come back with this shirt. Tomorrow he will wear it. Next tomorrow he will wear it. Three different, three sweats inside one shirt. Inside one shirt. And you don't expect me when, I, when you go out, people will give you a thumb up. You are looking clean or you smell good. Even some people will pour the whole body spray on top of one shirt. All because they are trying to um, smell nice. Meanwhile, they are not smelling nice. Because those perfumes, sometimes it, it, it goes off and then they are smelling. They are smelling. So personal hygiene is not just one person. Please keep sharing this video, please. Just show love by sharing the video. Personal hygiene is just not, it's not just one person. Just learn to lean on each other. Support each other. It's not just one person whereby you have to talk down on your wife or talk down on your husband by telling your wife um, I don't have to shower I am the boss I am the man just understand that these things are for your own good nobody wants to be sick so you can't force a woman to 
to give you a head when you have not taken your shower and then she's the one taking all the disease down and then she's the one being sick every day while you are the one being okay so if if you if it's going to be too much for you guys you can both of you can go into the shower uh into the bathtub take your shower together come out before making out brushing of teeth i think is a daily thing so if you don't brush your teeth, make it a, make it a habit. Morning and night, brush your teeth. Morning and night, brush your teeth. You can also get a mouthwash. Mouthwash is also good. When you are done, you use that. There is even this uh, mouthwash that is very, very good that cleans out the teeth. Like people that have brown tooth, uh, teeth, it helps a lot. You can get those ones. If you are the type that forgets so uh, so much, you forget things very easily. Learn to put those things inside your bathroom. Keep them there where you are seeing them, so that you remember in the morning. I have to brush. You cannot if you have not brushed, and maybe you have snore. You are you, you are the snoring type, and then you want to kiss someone. How how do you want the person to feel? The person will feel bad. The person can never be happy. The person cannot be happy. So let's go into um, the underwear uh, part because I spoke with the husband and the husband complained about her bras and pants because when you complain about some stuff, I will ask you, can I speak to your husband? Because sometimes we don't really open up um, in some of the things we say. So the husband said his anger is <laughs> in, the, in the wife's underwear. So um, like I said, most of us here, there are some bra pants we love so much that we can't discard. We can't throw them away. We want to keep wearing it and wearing it. And you might be thinking that your guy is not angry. Maybe he has, he has told you uh, one, one or twice, I don't want this thing. Please, can you buy something else, change it? And it's always good to change something. Wear something different. Look sexy for your guy. Look different for your guy. Don't allow him to be seeing one particular thing every day by day. Look look hot. The same thing goes to a guy. We have guys G-string. I'm telling I'm not telling you that guys G-string is only for is for gay. No. Guys they wear it for their um, their corporate wears. So it's not gay pants. Because I know some people will start reading, ah, it's not gay that wear G-string. It's a lie. Guy have that underwear. They have an underwear. It's just like a G-string. The front is like, it's a brief. The front, the, the front is the normal way where you put your cucumber and you wear it and wear your, your corporate wear and you go to work. You can just buy that. Even if you don't, you don't like to wear it out, you can wear it inside the house just to look different for your wife. You will see a pant in front. You know, urine is acidic. So in front, when you when you wear that pant has worn out that is white, where where our bone, our vagina used to be, you will see that the front is already white. You will see you keep wearing it. Even some people will use scissors and cut out those uh, area and keep wearing it. I'll be wondering even if even if it's your village people that 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 has vowed that that pant will be your your nest of kin, throw it away and buy something else. You will see some bra. The bra has, has turned from white to brown. Even from brown, maybe you, you wash those uh, bra with another cloth and now it has a pink stain. You are still wearing it with the pink stain. Instead of you to throw it away, wear, buy something else. Change your, your, your wardrobe, change, change your underwear. If, even your nightwear. Some people don't wear nightwear. Some people are fond of wearing polo and tights. Or they will tie wrapper. Every day. And that's why you see some guys, when they see someone looking very beautiful and sexy, their eyes are there. They are not thinking about you again. And you are the one complaining. I don't know why, for, for this, since this month, he doesn't come home early. He always now, he now comes home by 8 p.m before he comes home by six. Maybe he has been telling you, ah, babe, I love a uh, bomb shot. Can you buy all these small bomb shots? I love, I love you to wear them. 
and you have never even tried to get one for yourself since he has said since he, has, he told you that he want those things you have never made make an attempt to buy those things so are you not the one holding yourself me if i like something i'll say i like this so i expect my man to get it because i like it the same thing goes to a lady if your guy say, says i like this I expect you to try to get that thing. So the guy said, also said that when, when she buys perfume for, for her wife, the wife doesn't put it on. Only when the, the wife wears those perfume, only when they are going out for a wedding. Or any function. That's when she wears the perfume. So you see what I'm saying? When you when Perfume are not just only one when you are going out. You can wear those perfume even at home. I use my body spray or a little, a little, um, um, I just put a drop just on my body just to smell nice at night. Because even he can come to kiss you or, oh, baby, you, baby, you smell good. He can give you that compliment. It's always good to smell good. He draws a, a woman closer to his guy. But if you're not smelling good, it doesn't work. It doesn't make them happy. Some people, sometimes when you know, let me say your husband come back by 6 p.m. I expect you to uh, dress nice, look good. Some people, maybe they're in the kitchen or they're smelling at work. They will use it, they run to go and welcome the person. Or they have not taken their shower since morning. I understand, my dear. Sometimes I put it both ways. Kids are very, very fat. It's a whole walk. But I understand that even if it's a whole walk for us, we should make our time to take our shower. It's very, very important. Make our time to take your shower. You cannot tell me from morning till night by 8 p.m. You are now taking your shower since morning. And then you use it to welcome your husband. The same thing goes to a man too. So it's not just for a lady. It is both sides. This personal hygiene is for everybody. It's not just one person. Even your kids. Personal hygiene is very, very important. It's not just one person. It's just that some ladies are very dirty. Some guys are so dirty. In fact, they can repeat clothes 10 times without not washing it. The same thing goes to some ladies too. So it's not just one person. It's not just one person. So please, try to get a good deodorant. Try to get change your underwears. Every three months, it's okay. Or uh, four months, depending on how you want it. Discard your old pants and bra. Don't keep them. Don't mo keep mourning them. Throw them away. I understand there are some things that you, you, won't, you don't want to let go, but you have to let go. Throw them away. Try to dress good. Try not to repeat clothes. They can bring body order. Try to brush your teeth. These things are very, very important. Try to w wash. Try to take your shower before sex. And I believe you guys learned something today from what I said. This is a very short video. Okay. So I want to say thank you for um, my new followers. I really appreciate you guys for joining my page. And every day we'll be bringing you guys different stuff that will help you guys to... Um, Know the right thing to do and if you even if you have any question or anything to ask please do also send me an email at live family and health with you Jace, um and we'll reply you as soon as possible and if it's something we have to bring in live we will bring it we'll bring it up on my live show and then everybody can um, talk about it and send in their opinion okay um do have a lovely day god bless you all.